Hi everyone, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, today we're going to be focusing on a grade 12 calculus, optimization and the rate of change. Okay, and we're going to be focusing closely on November 2021 past paper, specifically focusing on your question 11 that needed the application of calculus, optimization and rate of change. Without any further ado, let's just get straight to it all right let's look at the november uh, department of basic education final examination 2021 uh, question 11 right it was uh, application of calculus optimization and rate of change okay so it says after traveling a distance of 20 kilometers from home a person suddenly remembers uh, that he did not close the tab, a tab in his garden, right? So I'm just gonna show you a, just a rough sketch here. Uh, we we can see a person has traveled for 20 kilometers, right? Right? And then he remembers that he did not, what? Close the tab, right? He decides to turn around immediately and return home to close the tab, okay? So we are given that the cost of water at the rate at which water is flowing out of the tap, right, is what? Is 1,60 rands per hour, right? We can actually denote this in terms of it, an equation, right? So I'm just going to write cost of water, right? Cost of water, which I'm going to denote as C, standing for cost in terms of time because they say uh, the person will be uh, uh, the cost will be 1,60 rands per hour right so it's per time right so it's gonna be what 1,60 times t right why times t it's because that every hour the person would have would be spending what 1,60 rands meaning that after one hour you can see that our t will be one then the person would have spent, would have, uh, 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 it would have costed him 1,60 uh, zero rands. Then after two hours, obviously we're just gonna put two where there is T, then we to just double the thing. Hence, our equation is 1,60 T, right? Okay, let's move. The cost of petrol, let me write cost of petrol, right, is what is, um, is 1,2 1,2 plus x over 4,000, right? And this is in rands per what? Per kilometer, right? It's in rands per kilometer. So I'm just gonna say c in terms of x because it's a represented in terms of x, right? And we were told where x is the what? Average speed. That is very very important. X is the average speed in kilometers per what? Per hour, okay. But remember, the cost of petrol is in rands per every what? Per every kilometers, right? So let's uh, now get to the question. It says, calculate the average speed at which the person must travel home to keep his cost low as possible. So this is actually optimization and rate of change, right? Because we are told that they need the average speed. What do they need? You, that's the first question. They need what? X. Because X is standing for the what? For the average speed, right? So they said calculate the average speed uh, at which the person must travel home to keep his cost low as possible. Meaning that we need to solve X when our cost has been what? minimized right that's a very very important um, uh, key idea that you must take from this um, question right or rather that you must deduce so meaning we know that the cost is being what minimized 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 okay so they are minimizing the cost and we just want to go and solve for what for x that's it okay so but it's a little bit trick question because you are given the cost of water in terms of time but you are given the cost of petrol in terms of x which is in terms of that uh, 
that uh, average speed okay meaning that we need to do something here right but very very important we are given that the person has to travel back home what is the distance to travel back home is 20 kilometers right so we know that the average speed v average according to science also right so this is maths obviously it's connected to science um, average speed is equals to distance over what over time right distance over time so we can say we can replace our average speed we were given x will be our distance which is what which is 20 kilometers right to travel back home over what over t standing for time so if we solve for t by cross multiplying t will be equals to 20 over what over x that is very very important for you to be able to deduce t is equals to 20 over x meaning that we can now come and express this cost of water in terms of what in terms of x because at the end of the day we want to solve for the average speed in other words we want to solve for x we don't need t right we want to solve for x meaning that we have to replace the cost of water in terms of that average speed in terms of x so where there is t I'm gonna replace by what by 20 over x okay all right there we go so our t we placed 20 over x okay let's now come to the cost of petrol right remember the cost of petrol is in rands per kilometers right but how many kilometers will the person have traveled if he has to go back home it's how much is 20 kilometers meaning that the cost of petrol now which was in just kilometers will have to be multiplied by those kilometers that are needed for a person to travel back home so that we can convert this cost as per that kilometers that you would have traveled right meaning that in our cost of petrol we are going to multiply by what by 20 kilometers right and why are we multiplying by 20 kilometers because this was just a cost per kilometer but we now know how many kilometers are needed for him to go back home meaning the cost now will have to be relational in relation to the kilometers that the person would have traveled home right so we need to multiply the cost that was in just kilometer rands per kilometer by 20 kilometers so that we can convert it into that distance that the person would have traveled back home so that was also the trick part of this question right so when we multiply this cost by 20 it's just going to be 1,2 times 20 which is 24 plus uh, 20 times x over 4,000 which will give us 1 over 200 x okay so this is the cost of petrol and here on top we have the cost of water which can be simplified right so we can simplify it to say 1,6 times 20 is going to be 32 out of x okay okay very very important we need to calculate the average speed we need to get x to keep his cost low as possible when the cost has been minimized right so meaning that we need to go and now determine the total cost right the equation for the total cost because we just want to minimize the cost there's a cost of water coming out at the tap and the cost of the petrol you will use to travel back home uh, uh, to cover that 20 kilometers right so meaning that the total cost will be the cost of water which is 32 over x plus the cost of petrol which is 24 plus 1 over 200x okay so this is now our total cost equation right i can just denote it in terms of x properly to say c of x c standing for cost it will be equals to 32 over x plus 24 plus uh, 1 over 200 x okay so that is our cost now we need to minimize the cost why are we minimizing the cost why are we optimizing the cost right it's because they told us that we want to keep this cost low as possible meaning that the cost has to be minimized how do we minimize you get the derivative right when you get the derivative you are actually getting those minimum values 
in that equation, in that graph, right? Just as getting the turning point, you have to first get the first derivative equated to zero and you solve those x. And those values of x will actually be your minimum and your maximum value. But if it is one, it's obviously going to be what? Your, 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 your minimum value in this case. Okay, so we are just going to get the first derivative. You derivate that equation. If I just write that equation properly, 32 over x can be also written as what? As 32 x exponent minus 1, right? If we just take x to the numerator, then when we get the derivative, it will be minus 32 x exponent minus 2. 24, when you derivate 24, a constant is 0, right? So when you derivate 1 over 200 times x, it will be 1 times 2, 1 over 200, 1 over 200, x exponent 1 minus 1, right? So x exponent 1 minus 1 is what? It's going to be 0. x exponent 0 is the same as 1. So 1 times 1 over 200 will be 1 uh, over 200, okay? So in order for us to get the x values, we need to let our first derivative to be 0. And we now go and finally solve for what? For x, okay? Then we can finally answer that question, okay? All right, I'm just going to write it in red uh, because of space. We don't have space here. So to solve for x here, we can just take 1 over 200 and transpose it. It will be minus 1 over 200 is equals to minus 32 x exponent minus 2, right? If we divide both sides by minus 32, so we are going to get... Uh, where can I write now? I'm just going to write on top of the question. I don't know. But let me just put it somewhere here. So we're just going to get x exponent minus 2 is equals to uh, 1 over 6,400. Okay. Then to solve for x, we can just uh, write this as a fraction to say 1 over what? x squared, right? Is the same as 1 over 6,400, right? And we can just simply mat cross multiply. Then we'll have our x squared is equal to what? 6,400, right? So this is 6,400. To solve for x, we can just apply the square root. We know the square root is plus or minus, right? So x will be equal to plus or minus 80, right? Remember, x was our average speed in kilometer per hour. So it would be kilometers per what? Per hour plus or minus 80 kilometers per hour so we can finally go and get our answer that will ensure that our cost will be minimum right so the final answer obviously speed is what speed is a scalar so it's always what it's uh, it does not have a sign right so the negative is just standing for the sign meaning that we can conclude that our, our x our average speed is finally 80 kilometers per hour right so this is our final answer okay so as you can see now the person must travel at 80 kilometers per hour in order for his cost to be what to be low so the trick about this question is that they gave you the cost of, of those items separately cost of water cost of petrol and what you had to do is you had to have the total cost equation right because here they just say to keep his cost low right they didn't specify meaning that they are referring to the whole cost right and another trick now was to say for cost of petrol it was just given in in rands per kilometers right so to say he will be spending this amount in rands per each kilometer but now we had to say okay how many kilometers will a person have traveled back home is 20 kilometers meaning that we had to multiply that cost of petrol by 20 so that we may have covered or rather get the cost of petrol when he has traveled 20 kilometers right also what's very important also here was to express your cost of water in terms of t and also go and use the formula for average speed in order to finally um, substitute this t in terms of x okay then you finally go and you what you optimize you find the rate of change in cost you derivate equate to zero so for x and and that's how you solve these optimization problems all right all right great off this marks the end of our lesson thank you very much for watching thank you very much for joining us in our session 
I hope you learned something. If you're new to this channel, make sure you have subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you may be notified when we upload new videos. Otherwise, that's all for me and goodbye.